Let's write a C program to draw a pyramid of stars. If the user enters number of rows for the pyramid as 20, we draw this uh, pyramid you can see on your computer screen right now. So let's look at the logic and the C program directly. I'll take a couple of variables, num, where I store the number of rows for the, tra uh, for the pyramid. Count is equal to one because the pyramid row starts from one to the number entered by the user. I for while loop. So I'll ask the user to enter the number of rows for the pyramid, that is the maximum number of rows for the pyramid and I'll store it inside the address of variable num. While the pyramid row starts from count, that is 1, till that is less than or equal to user entered number, I'll increment the value of count by 1 for each iteration of this while loop, that is we select the row for a row 1 by 1. Uh, using this while loop okay now I'll initialize the value of i to 0 and I'll write the while loop while i is less than or equal to the user entered number of rows minus the selected row okay so if they use I'll increment the value of i inside the i by 1 inside the while loop for each iteration of this inner while loop and I'll simply print out the space here. This is very important for the first iteration i value is 1 that is the first row. If the user entered number is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4 so i is 0 so 0 to 4 that is 5 rows of empty space will be printed. For the second iteration count value is 2 so number is 5 minus 2 means 3. 0 to 3 that is 4 empty spaces will be printed and so on for 3 2 1 and 0 okay only empty spaces will be printed for this entire while loop so now i'll take another while loop i'll reinitialize this variable i to 0 in this while loop i'll I, we will be actually printing the stars that is star for each row okay while this number is less than 2 into the the row count the row number minus 1 okay so here I'll be printing the star the number of stars and incrementing the value of i by 1 for each iteration of this while loop okay now for the first iteration count value is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so, so 0 is less than 1 so 1 uh, star will be printed for first iteration for second iteration count value will be 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 0 to 2 that is 1 2 3 3 stars will be printed so for the next iteration count value will be 3 so 3 into 2 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 5 is less than 0 so 0 to 4 that is 5 stars will be printed and so on so th this is how our pyramid gets printed so let me execute and show you the stars which will be printed in linear fashion by the way just look at the spacing between these rows that is to be the rows and the number of stars printed so I'll just uh, introduce a new line character for each row so now the pyramid will be formed just look at the number of stars in each row and and the spacing okay so this is the pyramid with five rows let me give 10 row pyramid now let us draw 10 row pyramid looks nice let's draw a huge pyramid that is of rows 50 oops let's cut that by half I'll give 25 okay looks nice I think it went out of your screen. I'll show it once again for you. So I'll give number of rows as 25. And 25 rows of this pyramid will be printed. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Uh, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.